Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. How are you doing today? You know, we ask that question often. But all how often we truly mean to ask it. We've become so used to the answer being fine or okay that we seldom check to see if we've been given the true answer. I don't often give you a challenge, but I feel today I should. The next time you ask somebody how they are doing, Think you inquire a little more and see how things really are with the person you were talking to. Of course, I also asked you how you were doing today. So if there's anything you would like to share with me, feel free to email me at dailyvisualbible at gmail.com. I promise that unless you ask me to, I won't share it on this show. You can send me your reply in complete confidence. It's Numbers chapter 4 today. Let's open God's word of prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Numbers, chapter 4 Yahweh spoke to Moses and to Aaron, saying, Take a census of the sons of Korath, from among the sons of Levi, by their families, by their fathers' houses, from thirty years old and upward even until fifty years old, all the way through to the surface to do the work in the tent of meeting. This is the surface of the sons of Korath in the tent of meeting. The most holy things, when the camp moves forward, and shall go in, and their sons, and they shall take down the veil of the screen, and cover the ark of the testimony with it, and shall put a covering of sealskin on it, and shall spread over it a cloth, all of blue, and shall put in its poles. On the table of showbread, they shall spread a blue cloth, and put on it the dishes, the spoons, the bowls, and the cups, for which to pour out, and the continued bread shall be on it. They shall spread on them a scarlet cloth, and cover the same with a covering of sealskin, and shall put it in its poles. They shall take a blue cloth, and cover the lampstand of the light, and its lamps, and its snuffers, and its snuff dishes, and all its oil vessels with which they minister to it. They shall put it on all its vessels within the covering of sailskin, and shall put it on the frame. And the golden altar they shall spread a blue cloth, and cover it with a covering of sealskin, and shall put it in its poles. They shall take all the vessels of ministry, which they minister in the sanctuary, and put them in a blue cloth, and cover them with a covering of sealskin, and shall put them on the frame. They shall take away the ashes from the altar, and spread a purple cloth on it. They shall put it on all its vessels, which they minister about it, the firepans, the meat hooks, the shovels, and the basins, all the vessels of the altar. And they shall spread it on a covering of sealskin, and put it in its poles. When Aaron and his sons are finished covering the sanctuary, and all the furniture of the sanctuary, as the camp moves forward, after that the sons of Korath shall come to carry it. But they shall not touch the sanctuary, lest they die. These things are the burden of the sons of Korath in the tent of meeting. The duty of Elisar, the son of Aaron, the priest, shall be the oil for the light, the sweet incense, the continual meal offering, the anointing oil, the requirements of all the tabernacle, and of all that is in it, the sanctuary and its furnishings. He always spoke to Moses and to Aaron, saying, Don't cut off the tribe of the families of the co Aphronites from among the Levites, but to us, be to them, that they may live and not die, when they approach to the most holy things. Aaron and his sons shall go in, and appoint them, everyone to his service and to his burden. But they shall not go in to see the sanctuary, in fewer moments, lest they die. Now he spoke to Moses, saying, Take a census of the sons of Gershon, also by their father's house. By their families you shall count them, from thirty years old and upward, until fifty years old. All who enter in to wait on the surface to do the work in the tent of meeting. This is the service of the families of the Gershonites, and serving and bearing burdens. They shall carry the curses of the tabernacle in the tent of meeting, its covering and the covering of the sealskin that lies above on it, and the screen for the door of the tent of meeting, and the hangings of the court, and the screen for the door of the gate of the court, which is by the tabernacle and around the altar. And their courts and all the instruments of their surface, 
What if it's a bay done with them? They shall serve him there. At the commandment of Aaron and his sons shall be all the servants of the sons of the Gershonites, in all the burden and in all the service, and you shall appoint their duties to them in all their responsibilities. This is the service of the families of the sons of Gershonites, the tent of meeting, and their duty shall be under the hand of Ithamar, the son of Aaron the priest. As for the sons of Merai, you shall count them by their families. By their father's house you shall count them from thirty years old and upward, even to fifty years old. Everyone who enters on the service to do the work of the tent of meeting. This is the duty of their burden, according to all the service in the tent of meeting, the tabernacle's boards, its bars, its pillars, its sockets, the pillars of the cords around it, and their sockets, and their pins, and their cords, with all their instruments, and with all their service, and by name you shall put the instruments, or the duty of their burden. This is the service of the families of the sons of Maori, according to all the, their service in the tent of meeting, under the hand of Ithamar, the son of Aaron the priest. Moses and Aaron, and the princes of the congregation, counted the sons of the Korathonites, by their families, and by their father's houses, from thirty years old and upward, even to fifty years old. Everyone who entered in the service for work in the tent of meeting. Those who were counted of them by their families were two thousand seven hundred fifty. These are those who were counted of the families of the Korathonites, all who served in the tent of meeting. Whom Moses and Aaron counted according to the commandment of Yahweh by Moses. Those who were counted the sons of Gershon, their families and their father's houses, from thirty years old and upward, into fifty years old, everyone who entered into the service for work in the tent of meeting, even those who were counted of them by their families and by their father's houses, were two thousand six hundred thirty. These are those who were counted of the families of the sons of Gershon, all who served in the tent of meeting, whom Moses and Aaron counted according to the commandment of Yahweh. Those who were counted of the families of the sons of Mahari, by their families, by their father's houses, from thirty years old and upward, into fifty years old, everyone who entered into the service, working at tent of meeting, even those who were counted of them, by their families, were three thousand two hundred. These are those who were counted, of the families of the sons of Mirai, who Moses are now encountered, according to the commandment of Yahweh by Moses. All those who were counted of the Levites, whom Moses and Aaron and the princes of Israel counted, by their families and by their father's houses, from thirty years old and upward, even to fifty years old. Everyone who entered in to do the work of service, and the work of bearing burdens in the tent of meeting. Even those who were counted of them were eight thousand five hundred eighty. According to the commandment of Yahweh, they were counted by Moses, ever according to his service, and according to his burden. Thus were they counted by him, as Yahweh commanded Moses.